Hello and welcome back. In this video number 50, I am going to show you how to create a utility which deletes the blank row. Let's move on to our sheet. Okay, now this time I am going to create a utility which deletes the blank row. It works something like this. You can just press the click this button to open a dialog box or press Ctrl, Shift or D. I will press this button. After that, it comes a pop-up message box, sorry, input box to select the range which you want to delete. I will select this much range for you to ensure that it does not delete the full row. I have just written 7111 here so that you can get that all this 611 in a column will not get deleted. Click OK. It will just shift the cell up and delete that blank rows. Isn't it interesting? Let's learn how to use this by using the recorded macros. I'm going to the sheet name trial1 and just start with the recording a macro. Now to record a macro and then to edit it with an input box or to modify your macro. First thing I will go to here in the macro option and select the record macro button. Then also go to the developer tab then going to the record macro the macro name is delete rows sorry delete uh, blanks this is trial number one you can use a keyboard shortcut but I have to edit this so you cannot you do if you want you can put a keyboard shortcut I will store this macro in this workbook and I will write a description this deletes the mac the blank rows by shifting shifting cells up click ok now first thing I will not press anything by just only clicking or uh, selecting a range you can select a range if you want this is now hard coded range but if uh, afterwards while developing I will make this range versatile by pressing f5 key you will go to the go to special dialog box selecting the s option that is go to special i will select blanks click ok it will highlight all the blank rows between the specified range and i will go to the home tab and press the delete key it will shift the cells up and i will then press stop recording button Let's go to the Alt F11 to go to the Visual Basic Editor. Alt F11. It records the macro something like this. Range if A1 to E65 dot select and selection dot special cells dot XL types blanks. There are many types like you can see the comments and so on. Now you can create this type of utility. Then selection dot delete equal to shift cell XL up means uh, for example in this it will suppose example if this is deleted the whole data will be shifted up like control down arrow the whole data will be shifted one cell up it does like this something like this type of recording now first thing I recorded this uh, here like a selection this selection and dot select now I have to edit it now I have edited with a simple input box function it is something like this first I have to dim a range like this time I have hard first time you have hard coded the range like range A1 to E65 or E24 this time I am going to select the range means I will make the user to select the which range you need then on error go to error means if the range is not selected or it is left blank it will automatically answer this is error handling techniques. Now, we have to when you dim it, you have to set that variable that is set cell range, SEL range. That means selection range equals to application. Now, I'm going to use the input box function. This is for input box when you select input box, you write the prompt is range to delete blanks. Then, my title is delete blank. Then what is my 
default address is selection dot address. Means if you select the multiple rows, it is your selection dot address. Then I want directly going to the type input box type. You can just select directly go to your type of your input box and type equals to eight. Eight means it will select the range of the cells. Now if you see input box, oops, input box and this type is eight. After several commas, I will write the type equals to eight. Then again selection dot special cells dot type dot delete. I am not dot select and then dot delete. It's better to write directly dot delete and shift cells x l up. Let's run this code. I will press the keyboard shortcut. Now, which range to select? I will select the range from going to down there and click OK, and it deletes the range. So, thanks for this. Uh, thanks for watching this video. For watching, feel free to subscribe and watch more videos on exploring Excel. Have a great day.